Damaging winds are classified as winds exceeding 50 to 60 miles per hour. They're often referred to as straight line winds to differentiate them from the rotating winds of tornadoes. Twisters are famous for the hazards they present, but damaging winds are more common, accounting for half of all severe reports in the contiguous 48 states. Damaging winds can range from small storms like a microburst, spanning less than two and a half miles and lasting five to 10 minutes, to larger storms such as a derecho, which is a long duration squall line of thunderstorms several hundred miles in length. A derecho produces very severe wind gusts that may last for hours and cause extensive damage. Because strong damaging winds can be produced by any type of storm, they can be very hard to forecast. Not only do meteorologists have to analyze Doppler radar scans, but they have to factor in storm behavior and the environment surrounding a storm. The National Weather Service includes wind as a component of storm-related alerts for weather events, like hurricanes and tornadoes. But they also issue wind watches and warnings for high wind events, like the Santa Ana winds in California, which aren't related to a storm. What's most important to know is that if you hear the word watch, you should get prepared for the event. And if you hear the word warning, you should put your safety plan into action. High winds have the potential to cause widespread damage. Giving yourself time to prepare can help keep the damage to a minimum. Secure loose items like patio furniture and keep tree branches trimmed away from your home and power lines. Make sure your emergency kit is stocked and gather enough food and water for each person to last three days. Pick an interior room or basement to provide shelter during high wind events. If you live in a mobile home, even if it's anchored, pick a sturdy building close by to take shelter in. If you're driving when a high wind event occurs, steer clear of larger vehicles like trucks and buses. Move your car to an area where you're less likely to be hit by falling trees or power lines. Even after the storm, your local news can provide useful information. When cleaning up, be sure to handle debris carefully and avoid downed power lines, as they may still be live.